No. Christ is the head of this house, the unseen guest at every meal, the silent listener to every conversation. Welcome to He Carries Me Over Ministry Incorporated's special event, Revival 2024. On the 12th Mother's Day, we begin this, and we went through a little of a mother's love, which sometimes the love cannot be equal. And it is so outstanding that you cannot define it. I know I can't. Then on the 13th, we went through God's love. God's love is very similar to a mother's love. A mother can wipe away a tear. God can wipe away a tear. Mothers can kiss away the pain of a boom. So can God. See, their love is very similar and cannot be equal. Then last night we went through the love that we must have toward one another. Tonight, people, we're going to go through the golden love, a love that is pure gold. But before we go into that, let's go back to when he was born in the stables of Bethlehem. Around about 4 or 3 B.C., he was born in the stables of Bethlehem. God's only son. He seen him here, and he was born in the stables of Bethlehem. He grew up paving the way for you and me. Yes, Jesus is our big brother. Do we not worship God, the Father? Isn't Jesus the Son of God? That makes him our brother, our big brother. He paved the way for you and me. He tell, told us, he showed us things that we must do in order to get to New Jerusalem. He was found guilty of a crime he did not commit. A crime that he did not do. Yet, they found him guilty. His sentence was to die on the cross. Spikes. Spikes. In a spike through both feet. That hung him to the cross. He cried, Father, why have thou forsaken me? Then he said, It's not my will, but the will of my Father. And then he closed his eyes. When he's on that cross, he closed his eyes in death. They took him down and put him in an empty tomb. They put soldiers there to guard him. They wrote a big stone by the door of the tomb. But on that third day, that stone was rolled away. And he walked out of that tomb. People, this is the golden love. See, Jesus could have come down off that cross at any given moment. When they told him, while they was making fun of him, hey, if you're a son of God, come off that cross. He could have. But he didn't. Because it's not my will, it's the will of my Father. But he could have come off that cross. He could have. But that love held him to the cross. People, this is the golden love, a love that is pure gold. A love that has no equal. It can never be equal because it is greater than any love. Any love. This is greater than because he could have come off that cross 
and tell them. Hey, look at me. I just walked off the cross. How dare you to mock my holy name? But he didn't. He stayed right there on the cross as they mocked him, spit up on him. He stayed there on the cross for you and me. And then on that third day, he came out of that tomb went back to heaven to prepare us a place. People, this place goes beyond the human imagination. We can see it and we can think how beautiful it is. I can write a book. You can write a book. They can write a book of what they think heaven may look like. But no matter how we do it, it goes beyond our imagination. People, it's going to be a place that is so beautiful. Your eyes have never seen to be me. Your ears have never seen, or your ears have never heard the way that his choir is going to sing on glory on that day. Don't let nothing on this earth hold you down because you are inherited to, to that. That's how come he died upon that cross. So you can inherit the kingdom. Don't let nothing stand in your way. Don't do it. Don't let nothing stand in your way. Because, honey, it's all yours. That day when he died upon the cross, it's all yours. Every bit of it is yours. People, this is the love that is pure gold to what he did for us on that cross. This is the love that is pure gold. And the only thing that he asks us back is to love one another. Love everyone. Even as I have loved you, he says. Love each other. Love each other from the heart. And forgive just like the Heavenly Father told us. The sweetest words he ever said was, I forgive. People, we got to forgive those that does us wrong. We've got to have the love for them. See, I told you at the beginning, something's going to happen that's going to be directed toward me. And people right now, he's directed toward me. I've got to have that love in me for those that I think has done me wrong. People, 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 let them go. Pray for them and let them go. Don't go back to them. Pray for them. They are to come back to you. The Bible tells us that they have to come back to you to apologize. You don't go back to them to apologize because you didn't do nothing wrong. They did. So let them pray for them, love them. And then they'll have to come back to you to apologize for what they did wrong to you. That's the Bible. You'll never go back to them. To apologize for something that you didn't do, they have to come to you. People, this is the love that he set forth for me and you to do. It's to love one another. Love. Not hate. Not to have a grudge against nobody. Because what if our Heavenly Father had a grudge against us for making his son hang on that cross? Think about that one. What if the Heavenly Father had a grudge against us for his son hanging on that cross. People, there'd be no hope for none of us. But he loved the world so much that he gave his son over to the cross. A golden love. A father and son. Would you give your child over to that? I don't think anybody could. 
but God gave his and over to the cross for you and me. A golden love. Love one another is the key to the kingdom. That's all he asks us to do is to love one another and the kingdom is ours. But until we do that, we'll never touch the streets of glory. We've got to have that love. Love. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for opening these eyes again. And I know some of you out there is had it hard because of well, family members doing you wrong. See, I know some of you. I've talked to you. Don't get mad at them. Don't have no grudge with them. Because after all, they're going to pay for it, not you. Continue praying for them and continue to love them. In the name of Jesus Christ, continue to love them. And they're going to have to come back to apologize to you for what they did. Pray for them. People, I hope this message is benefiting somebody somewhere. That is the purpose of it all, and I know it benefited me. I knew. You got to show that love. Let his love shine from you to those that are around you. That's all he asked us. In the streets, the goal is ours, people. That heavenly mansion is ours. But if we can't do that, we're going to become the dust under the righteous feet. He plainly tells us that. So don't become that. Become one of those that's going to be shouting in New Jerusalem. And we do it with love. Let that love shine through you to those that are around you. Forgive. Forgive those. Like our Heavenly Father did us. I hope it's been a bit to somebody somewhere. And just remember this. God loves each and every one. Even those that do you wrong, He still loves them. Why can't we love them? We've got to get into that loving. Love one another. Now, I will not be live on the 17th, 24th, and 31st of May. I'm going to get revived, rejuvenated. I will, we will go live again starting June the 7th at 6 p.m. And this will take us through January the 6th, 2024. We'll be here every Saturday, Friday night at 6 p.m. If weather permits, now we're in hurricane season. So if weather permits, if it's not, then somewhere out there, if I'm escaping from the hurricane, I'll have it there alive. Have a blessed evening. And I love each and every one of you. Love one another. And forgive. Amen?